Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina and I'm a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app. You can find me at little.black.hanger on Instagram and on Poshmark, little black hanger without the bowels. I'll leave the links down below. I promise, I don't always look like this. I do have a Darth Vader onesie on to answer your question. And no, I don't have any makeup on because Aunt Flo decided to pay me a visit today. She decided to make a guest appearance, so I'm just not feeling it. I don't want to get ready. I don't want to put makeup on. We're keeping it 100 on this channel. This is what you get. All right, so let's get right into today's video. I'm going to be talking about 10 things that are essential for your reselling kit essential. These things are essential for me. Some of them you can exclude, you may not think that it's essential, but to me, it's essential. Essential, essential, essential. Take a shot. I'll wait. Go ahead. <laughs> Anyways, so I've got my little handy dandy notes. First things first is a tape measure. Get you one. They're like $2 at Walmart um, in the craft section. You need to be measuring everything because you need to be including measurements in your listings um, because sizes, they're not always right. They're not always the same. They're not always accurate measurements. So that way no one can open a case against you even though they're not supposed to be able to return for size issues anyways. But this way you have your measurements in the listing. They can't say they didn't know. Cover yourself. Okay. I just threw that. Okay. <laughs> You're getting frisky, Christina. <laughs> All right, number two is a big one, and I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get it in frame. It's a tri-fold poster board. You can literally get this. <laughs> oh my God. You see it? Can you see it? Yes, you get the point. Tri-fold poster board. You can literally get those at Dollar Tree for one dollar. They come in handy for photographing shoes, for photographing purses, earrings, belts, accessories. The small things that you can't hang on a wall, you can't put on a mannequin, blah, blah, blah. Get you one. You won't regret it. All right, number three is a lighting kit. Now, mine is behind the camera and I'm filming... <laughs> filming on my iPhone, so I can't show you, but I will insert a picture here of the one that I have. I got it from Amazon. It's great. Number four is clear poly nailers. Now, this is just my personal thing. You don't have to do clear, but I just think it looks so professional um, and so nice. I just stick a little sticker on it and it just looks like it came from like a website like a factory or something I just think it looks so nice I got this tip from empty hanger if you don't follow her on Instagram go follow her because she's amazing amazing anyways um, you just fold up whatever you have really nicely put it in here suck all the air out push it suck all the air out and it just slips right into a um, bubble poly mailer uh, priority. What am I trying to say? A flat rate padded envelope from the post office. This makes it so much easier to get jeans in there. If you've ever tried to stuff a pair of jeans in a um, flat rate padded envelope, you understand what I'm talking about. All right, moving on. Number five is a steamer. Now, um, some of you are probably, hold on, I have a tickle in my throat. I know some of you are going to ask, I got this copper mug at Dollar Tree. At Dollar Tree, how cute is that? It's got a lot of condensation on it. Wow. But I love this mug. They have copper um, utensils, copper things for the kitchen. And then there's, it's so cute. And it's a dollar. What? Mm. Okay, moving on. Number five is a steamer. Now, some of you are probably thinking, Christina, I can afford a steamer. A steamer's a lot. What do I need a steamer for? I personally got a steamer um, because I have anxiety and I was so paranoid about like getting bed bugs or something, some kind of bacteria 
in my home that I don't want from a thrift store. So I steam all of my clothing to kill bacteria. Um, now I couldn't afford, I'm just like you, I can't afford a big fancy $200 steamer either. So I found this Black & Decker one um, on walmart.com and my Walmart actually carried it so I just ordered on walmart.com and picked it up the next day so I wouldn't have to go down the aisles hunting. I know that's like my fiance was like, that, that was kind of lazy of you when you could have just came and got it. But I'm like, they only had a few left. What if someone bought, whatever. I'm just making excuses for my laziness. Um, but this thing's really cool. It's got the water tank. It's got this little filter on it um, so that it doesn't burn any of your clothing. Um, you can use it without this, but I choose not to because I'm, I'm a little scared to um, use it without. But it looks like this without. And it's by Black & Decker. It was under $40. Um, I've only had it for a couple months and I haven't had any issue with it. Um, it does have a two-year warranty on it and I trust the Black & Decker name. That's why I bought it. Um, did a lot of research. Yada, yada, yada. The only problem with this one is... Um, is that it's it's a little heavy so like I have to use two hands at times because my arm starts getting tired but that's the only downside it heats up really fast puts out a lot of steam doesn't spit water onto my garments works really well have no complaints number six is Dawn dish soap now, I use Dawn dish soap and dilute it with water to get out um, stains. It works really well on like makeup stains. Like if someone's tried on a shirt and it's gotten like makeup on the collar, it takes that out really well. I haven't come across a stain that Dawn dish soap will not get out um, unless it's on like whites and it's really stubborn. I use like a bleach solution. Um, I know a lot of people use like some fancy um, stain removers. I don't do that. Um, if I come across a stain, that needs one, I'll get one. But for the time being, Dawn dish soap works pretty well. Improvise, use some baking soda, use some peroxide, you know, try and get that stain out. Don't be scared of stains, um, but have a stain remover handy so that you can use it if you need it. Number seven is rubbing alcohol and or hairspray um, to get those stubborn Sharpie prices off of the bottom of shoes you got from the thrift store. My thrift store doesn't use um, sticker price tags for their shoes. They just write the price on the bottom of it with Sharpie. Um, rubbing alcohol works really well if the sole is like leather or painted. Hairspray, I wouldn't use it on a painted sole because it will take the paint off as well. But on rubber soles, hairspray works so well. I can't even express. And you probably already have it at your house if you use the lady. So use it. Use it, use it. Number eight is this um, sweater shaver or any sweater shaver. This is just my personal favorite. Got it at Walmart with the, at the same time as the steamer. My order was under $40. So $40 for a steamer and a sweater shaver. This will change your freaking life. If you've ever had like a garment that you wanted to get, um, but it had like pilling on it or like the sweater had pilling on it, this takes it off so quickly takes two AA batteries, you just run it over with no pressure, little to no pressure, um, and it just shaves it right off. I'll insert a video here. It also has a little lint trap, and I'll also insert a picture of that just to show you how much it really takes off, and this thing works freaking wonders. Get you one. The brand is Evercare. Um, like I said, it's sold at Walmart. Number nine is thank you cards. Now, 
this is, I'm going to leave it up to you and your own devices. Get creative. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Um, get creative. Use some plain card stock. I got mine at Michael's. They came with envelopes already. Go in Michael's. Just search a little bit. Get creative. Um, the, I got the little stickers from Dollar Tree. They just have different little sayings on them. This one says, be happy. This one says, hey. This one is like, yes. Okay, so you get the point. I just stick a little sticker on there and it's plain on the back and I just write my handwritten thank you note. I stick it in an envelope, put the customer's name on it with a little smiley face. Just gives it a little personal touch um, that customers really appreciate. And a lot of my thank you or love notes on Poshmark, my customers have mentioned that they loved the cute little note, that they thought it was a great touch. So I think this is totally, totally essential for anyone's kit hands down and number 10 is these little stickers that i get from vista print they say little black hanger on them and they have the little poshmark um symbol on them i'm hoping you can see these um anyways i just add these like i said i put one i'll show you right now um when i put the garment in here I just stick one of these stickers on. You can even see what I'm doing. Just stick one of these little stickers on. So then that makes the little bag look a little bit more professional and it just adds my own little personal touch on it. Um, it's got my little logo, the Poshmark logo, and it's just nice. I get these from Vistaprint. Um, I'll leave the link down below. This isn't something that you have to have, but I don't go over the top with my packages like a lot of people do. Um, so I feel like that just adds that little extra something that my packages need. All right, and that is everything. That is my 10 things that I need in my essentials kit as a reseller. If I miss something, which I'm sure that I did, and there's plenty of other things that I use on a daily basis, I just thought that these were a little different. And these are things that you like really, really need. Leave a comment down below and let me know what's in your essential kit. I would love to know. If you have any tips or tricks for anything, let me know down in the comments. We're all here to learn from each other. And I would love, love, love to hear from you. That's going to be it for me. So, Darth Vader signing out. I bet you didn't know this once he had a helmet too. Such a weirdo. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.